Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for Microsoft Identity and Access Administrator SC300. You can download the complete list of Microsoft based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on SC300 is how do you configure Azure AD Connect Health for monitoring and troubleshooting identity synchronization issues? Your answer should be Azure AD Connect Health provides insights into the health and performance of Azure AD Connect synchronization, including replication status, connectivity issues, and synchronization errors. Configuration involves installing the Azure AD Connect Health agent and configuring monitoring settings in the Azure portal. Our next interview question is what are the considerations for implementing multi-factor authentication MFA in a Microsoft 365 environment, especially for users accessing sensitive data? Your answer should be when implementing MFA in a Microsoft 365 environment, considerations include user experience, enforcement policies, app compatibility, authentication methods, for example, phone call, text message, and mobile app, and conditional access policies based on risk factors and sensitivity of data. Our next interview question is, how do you enforce device compliance policies in Azure AD to ensure secure access to corporate resources? Your answer should be device compliance policies in Azure AD allow organizations to define requirements for device health and security, such as requiring devices to be encrypted up to date with patches and configured with security settings. Compliance is enforced through conditional access policies that restrict access for non-compliant devices. Our next interview question is what role does Azure AD application proxy play in enabling secure access to on-premises wave applications? Your answer should be Azure AD application proxy allows organizations to securely publish on-premises wave applications to external users without exposing the internal network. It provides features such as pre-authentication, single sign-on, access controls, and integration with Azure AD authentication. Our next interview question is how do you manage and monitor user access to Azure resources using Azure AD Privileged Identity Management PIM? Your answer should be Azure AD PIM allows organizations to assign, review, and monitor access to privileged roles in Azure resources. This involves configuring role assignments with PIM conducting access reviews to ensure least privileged access and monitoring privileged activities using PIM reports and alerts. Our next interview question is explain the concept of Azure AD Federation and its benefits for single sign-on SSO across applications and services. Your answer should be Azure AD Federation allows organizations to establish trust relationships with external identity providers such as Active Directory Federation Services, ADFS, or other SAML-based identity providers to enable single sign-on SSO across cloud and on-premises applications. It provides a seamless authentication experience for users and centralizes identity management. Our next interview question is how do you ensure secure authentication for remote users accessing corporate resources using Azure AD? 
your answer should be secure authentication for remote users can be ensured by implementing features such as azure ad conditional access policies multi factor authentication mfa device based access controls vpn or azure ad application proxy for remote access and monitoring user sign ins and access attempts for suspicious activities if you are preparing for any microsoft based certifications you can download the complete list of valid tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below